All right, y'all. So today I'm going to be doing another one of my viral videos from like YouTube or I'm sorry, from TikTok. And I think I'm probably going to like make this a series because like don't quote me on that because I always I will say that and then I won't be like I ain't doing another one. <laughs> so right now I am go make another viral video and this is um actually this went viral on YouTube and Facebook. <laughs> it's my Philly cheesesteak egg rolls, y'all. When I tell you, it's fine. So um it's and it's really low, like it's not that many ingredients. I know I always say that, but I promise y'all, for real, <laughs> it's not that many. So let's, come on, let's get into it, for real. Okay, y'all, I promise I'm gonna get my lighting right. My ring light, my ring light freaking uh, broke, so this is what I gotta work with. Anyways. So I got a leftover green and red bell pepper. I'm gonna just use these halves and then we're gonna do half of this onion. All right. We're gonna dice these, y'all. Small as you can. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're going to put this in the bowl and then we're going to cut the onion. Onion is always last because it makes me cry. At least I try to make it last. All right, so this will be the time to go ahead and mess up your garlic. If you got some garlic you need to cut up, go ahead and do that now. I'm using minced garlic, so I'm not gonna cut up none. All right, we got this little sirloin tip thin steak. We gonna use. Okay, then we just gonna. Let me see. I need to get on this side. All right, so we're gonna cut this steak. Just like this, y'all. Thin slices. And then, y'all, y'all can cut. If it's too long, well, like this. You can turn it in, turn it this way and cut it in half. Now we got little strips like this. Okay. So we're gonna season this y'all. We're gonna do two tablespoons of seasoning salt. A tablespoon of onion powder. Tablespoon of black pepper. And a tablespoon of garlic powder. Y'all, I do like to add a little bit of steak seasoning. Whatever kind of steak seasoning y'all have. Just about a tablespoon of that. A little oil. Now the meat to 
our cast iron. Now right here, y'all can go ahead and add y'all onions and bell peppers first if y'all wanna saute them. But to me, it really didn't matter. So I just went ahead and added the meat. Okay, so we're gonna add about a cup of water to start and see where that leads us. Okay, that should be good for now. Make sure you have your stove on medium to low. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. It did not say the game was fun. I swear to God, what is this stupid ass? <laughs> now we're gonna add the onions and the green and red bell peppers. Two teaspoons of garlic. Okay. We're going to put the lid on for about 15 minutes and come back and check. Okay. It's been 15 minutes. Let's see. Now you're just going to be checking to see if your meat is tender. Okay. So the meat is pretty tender to me. We're going to let this water evaporate. We're going to leave the top off. I don't know how long it's going to take, so I'll let y'all know. All right. So this is about done. I'm going to just leave the rest of the juice in here so that we can have some for the, um, the rolls. But this is enough. Okay, so we got one egg. We're going to add about a teaspoon of water. We have these egg roll wraps. You're going to take two of them. Or one. If y'all like y'all stick or thin, just depends. One of them, they be breaking easy, so... You might want to use two. Now, depending on how many you want to make, we got provolone cheese. I usually like to cut them in half. Like this. Ooh! <laughs> Trying to watch football while it's on mute okay you want to take it put a cheese on it this put some meat don't put too much because then you won't be able to roll it put another cheese on top okay then you're gonna roll it like that Fold the corners in. Okay. Fold these corners. Fold this corner. And then roll it again. Some of that egg mixture. And go like that. Show y'all one more time. And then you can put some on here too for the second one. Like that. Okay. So, like this. Get you a cheese. Cheese on top. Roll it. Roll it. These corners in like that. And then roll it again.
Okay, I wanted to show y'all. Y'all can add some mozzarella. Cause this is towards the end where I'm running out of cheese. So y'all can use mozzarella as well. It's a good cheese to use. And you're just gonna do the same thing. Roll it up. Dang, you got that water loud, okay? Just like that. So I'm gonna use mozzarella for this last one as well with the rest of this cheese. When you get towards the end, just start trying to Figure out how much meat you got, how many. I had made like sections in the meat. Once I got towards the end, it was like three, you know, like that. But yeah, just start trying to section it off and see how much meat you can spread out. Or see how many, cause right now this is one wrap. So you wanna see how many rolls you can make. So I still had meat left. I had to make one of those wraps into two. If that makes sense. Now, y'all can cook these the rest of this egg if y'all want to. That's up to y'all. Okay, we got our grease going. We just gonna add them in. Now, don't overcrowd the pot. I'm gonna just put four in there. We're gonna add the rest of these. Okay, while we let that cool off, we're gonna start on this sauce. It's spicy mayo, okay? We're doing a half a cup of mayo or Miracle Whip, okay? Two teaspoons of sriracha, or I'm sorry, two tablespoons of sriracha. Depends on how spicy y'all want it. Y'all know I want mine spicy, so I'm gonna put a little bit more. Two tablespoons of ketchup. Now, y'all could add some honey, but since I'm using Miracle Whip instead of mayo, it's already a little sweet, so I'm not going to use none. And then we got some paprika. We use about a tablespoon of that. And a little bit of sweet relish. A tablespoon. About a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Okay, so this is how it should look. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and break apart one of these, y'all. Ooh, every time. So good. And the dipping sauce, ridiculous. So make sure y'all, let me know what y'all wanna cook. Let me know what y'all wanna see. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and do not forget that the ingredients are in the description below. Subscribe button!